has some pretty spectacular bridges. Look at this thing. This is in North Bend, which is just north of Coos Bay. Amazing bridge. I don't think I've ever seen a bridge designed like this. I love bridges, as you guys know. That one was super cool. A little bit windy out, so I'm not, I'm not gonna send the drone out. Uh, but we are heading north. Oh, good morning. <laughs> this is day two of my Oregon coast. Got excited about the bridge. Anyway, good morning, day two, heading north on the 101, heading to Astoria and then the Astoria Megler Bridge and then we are finished with our Oregon Coast tour. Charlie's pretty excited. It's cloudy right now and there's a, a hint of blue but it's out to sea, out in the ocean so I don't know if it's gonna, it's gonna the clouds are gonna burn off or not but it's okay right now. So, catch up with you in a little bit. Enjoy the scenery. There's some dunes over there. America Trail, which I did part of, ends right here at the Oregon Dunes. So those are the dunes way over there. Some over there too. Yeah. So this is where the Oregon Trail, or the uh, Trans America Trail, ends. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to finish it because I bent my axles in my Jeep. So some other time, I guess. Anyway. Enjoy the sights. <laughs> I wish I could stop at all these overlooks, but it is so cloudy, which is typical of Oregon, along the coast. You're not gonna be able to see anything. So I'm really kind of bummed. And now we're in Winchester Bay. This is Winchester Bay. Tiny little town. Here's something you don't see very often, a tsunami gallery. Not sure what they have in there, but kind of interesting. We are in Gardiner. Cool old houses here in Gardiner. Not a lot going on here in Gardner. Gardner on October 1st, 1850, the schooner Bostonian, owned by a Boston merchant named Gardner, was sent to the Pacific Coast in the interest of trade. The 
shipwrecked on the Umqua River Bar. Most of her cargo was salvaged and brought to this site known for years as Gardner City. A sawmill was built in 1864 and another in 1877 and Gardner became noted a noted lumber port. Fire destroyed most of the town in 1880 but it was quickly rebuilt and widely known as the the White City by the Sea. From 1885 to 1916, the Gardner Mill Company, with its logging camps and brisk sailing ships trade, made Gardner one of the busiest towns on the Oregon coast. Lots of old, rusty stuff here on the Oregon coast. It's damp and wet all the time. Cafe. They have all these cool little restaurants and shops, and it's just this is fun. So it finally cleared up. We got out of Florence, and as you can see, it is sunny and stunning. Highway 101. Up the Oregon coast. Sea lion caves coming up. So straight ahead, I don't know if you can see mist fog off the ocean. Coming up to the Hasita Head Lighthouse, which I've been to before, so we might go check it out again since it's nice and sunny out this time. Got a tunnel. Oh! 
So we're gonna, we stopped and we're gonna go check out the lighthouse. The Oregon Beach and the trail leading up to the lighthouse. Come on, Terry. Go. Go. Come on. Okay, go. Go. Lighthouse and the view. Super cool view. Hey, let's go check out the lighthouse. Tasty lunch in Yachats. <laughs> it's kind of a weird name. Yachats, the Yachats. Tiny little town right on the water. And of course, they have a Dollar General. North we go again. Coast Highway. You 
heard her continue on Oregon Coast Highway. I love that. Now we're in Waldport, where the forest meets the sea. Just had a nice little rest at Governor Patterson Memorial Re State Recreation Site. Had the van door open and took a little nap. Ocean breeze blowing in. Divine. We are back on the road, heading north Continue to- Continue on US 101. On the 101 north, going to Lincoln City, Oregon. This is Waldport. This is just after the little rest stop, and we have a super cool bridge to go over. This is called the Alcia Bay Bridge, and this is Waldport. Cute little town. Gas here is $3.99, so not too expensive, but not the cheapest. All right, another historic bridge, Alcea Bridge. Alcea Bay Bridge. This is the friendliest town on the Oregon coast. So, I don't know. Maybe we should go find out. Go chat up the locals. We're in Newport. Here's another bridge. here on the Oregon coast, which is absolutely stunning. And if I win the lottery, I'm gonna live right here.
world's smallest harbor, Depot Bay. Right there. Depot Bay. Little tiny town. Amazing views. And the world's smallest harbor. If you have never been to the Oregon coast, you should make it a destination. Just do, do the whole thing. Go from California all the way up to Washington and just ride the 101 along the coast. Breathtaking. And the cute little towns are just, they're all so unique. They all have something special about them. So stop along the way, take your time, Take like three, four, five, six days and just drive up the coast really slow. Stop at all the outlooks and viewpoints in all the little towns. Look in the shops. Eat the great seafood. It really, really is a destination, I think. The Oregon coast is really special. All right, we just arrived in Lincoln City. It's a cool little town. Lots going on here. Just at the edge of town here. It kind of goes over a river. So there's like two parts of it. Getting dark out, so probably gonna have to shut her down for the evening. Got, um, we have like 10 minutes to go till we get to our destination in Lincoln City. So it's taken about three, four days to go up the Oregon coast. So give yourself like, I'd say four or five days. Kind of rushed a little bit because we have to, but I would give it four or five days and, and stop a lot. There's so much to see. There's sea lion caves where you take an elevator and you go down to the sea lions and so many hiking trails, so many cool turnoffs and viewpoints and try out the restaurants in these little towns. The seafood is amazing. So I'm going to shut it down and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.